In terms of lens releases, this is a really intriguing one. I recently received Viltrox's brand new 28 millimeter pancake lens. It's a full frame lens. It's autofocus. It retails at $99 and it weighs in at a mere 60 grams. I think this is going to really pique some interest amongst the photography community. It certainly piqued mine because if you're anything like me, you're on the constant hunt for something that you can use as an everyday carry camera, something that will keep the quality but doesn't weigh you down. This in fact could potentially be mistaken for a body cap once it's sitting on your camera. I've paired mine up with my Sony a7C Mark II and it is such a cool little combination. 28 millimeters is a really nice focal length to have as a day to day. It's not too restrictive in terms of being too tight, but on the other hand, it's not super wide either. It is a little bit wider than I'm personally used to, but I've actually been really enjoying using it on my camera and just having it as a bit of a, a run around lens to document things that I would like to make look nice on a day to day basis, but don't want to lug around a big lens with my camera. I've used it over the past few days just to put it to the test really and I've been pretty impressed. The quality for what it is is actually really amazing. I've had no real problems so to speak with the sharpness of the lens. I think it's pretty good given its size, weight and cost. I couldn't really complain about it at all to be honest. The only slight downside I had was when shooting in slightly darker lighting conditions like first thing in the morning or in the evening, mostly around the house when I've been putting it to the test for my day-to-day -day pictures, the autofocus becomes a little bit slow in slightly darker conditions, but perhaps we could forgive this lens for that. It's kind of quirky that it's a fixed f4.5. never had a fixed aperture lens that just doesn't move throughout the range, so it just sits that and that is that. But actually, I was thinking this is quite nice for that kind of everyday carry because it, it eliminates another another decision that you have to make. It's a pretty nice f-stop. You're still you can still get a good bit of shallow depth of field, um, but still keep everything kind of in context. Build quality is pretty good. It's what you might expect of a $99 lens. Uh, it is a little bit plasticky in feel, but given the fact it's so sort of compact and skinny, once it's on, on the camera, everything feels quite quite sturdy and, and you're not really fiddling around with it too much. You're not changing any apertures on it or anything like that. So it doesn't have any real features, so to speak, on the lens itself. It's mostly black with this silver banding around, around the lens there, which is quite nice gives it a little bit of a little bit of a retro kind of feel one other quirky little feature is the fact that i spent a little while wondering uh, how you actually open up the lens itself and it has this very cool little manual switch here which you literally just switch open and close to open and close the lens again really nice for an everyday feature because you don't have to worry about losing a lens cap or taking it on and off and you know that the glass itself is protected the little element itself is tiny tiny so one drawback here would be that you can't attach any kind of filter to it, but I think the image quality is pretty nice. Um, and I found the photos that come out of it are pretty cool. So I have felt no real need to add a filter and I've kept it pretty simple. So as I've been talking here, I've been overlaying a few images that I have taken over the past few days, which I hope gives you good insight into kind of how I've put it to use and what kind of photos and quality that I've got out of it. But I'm kind of impressed. I think it's quite cool. And I just love, I really love the concept. I'm, I'm getting myself drawn more and more to trying to carry my camera as much as possible and just take really nice images of day-to-day -day things, as well as going out on the, the bigger shoots, sunset shoots and the planned shoots. I love those as well, but I sometimes feel like I miss things on a day-to-day -day basis. And while I have got a phone in my pocket, there's nothing quite like using a camera. So potentially, if you're interested in that kind of thing as well, you could turn your Sony a7C, a7C Mark II, or even the a7C R, or any other kind of Sony camera that you have into a pretty compact little setup with this very cute and, um, to be honest with you, very fun little lens. Now, just a premise, I probably should have said this at the beginning, but Viltrox very kindly did send me this lens out. They asked me if I wanted to have a go with it and put it to the test, but they paid me no money at all and asked me to say nothing nice about the lens. 
they will be launching this on the kickstarter the link is down below and i believe you'll be able to get some discounts with that so at the time of posting this video it should be available on that kickstarter so you can go and check that out if you wish if you do have any further questions about the lens i would be very happy to answer them if i can so please do drop me a comment down below thank you for watching and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video